Hello. All right. We're, welcome back, guys. We've got Stan Siska versus Theude. How do you say that? No, it's Stan, Stan Siska versus Toide. It's a really Toide. good game. Yeah. That, can I call him Theude? I, I, no, I, no, I, no. I can actually pronounce that. Toide. 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 Don't destroy the names, man. Toide. Toide. That's, that's close enough. Yeah. So I got a the Fate 2 Karma representative in Toide, and currently, just recently... Teamless. Teamless Sensuka. Single, ren ready to mingle. <laughs> Wasn't he your teammate? <laughs> Wasn't he your teammate? Yes, a few days oh, ago. okay. So what do you have so to say about that? So he left you. They're, we're both unemployed now. Oh. Oh. That's not even cool drama. That's just sad. That's that's <laughs> about it, though. So I'm here to cast. We're here to have some, some fun, so... Yeah. Uh, this thing is really exciting because Toide is known to not play standard stuff. Like he, <laughs> he always plays some weird stuff. Yeah, he's bringing Fate Day of Thunder, right? He, he brought he, it last. He beat me with that. He brought it last. He, you story. lost to that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's embarrassing. You said that in front of like 25,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> just. He's not a bad player. Like, just because he plays weird stuff, it doesn't mean that he's a bad player. He's a really good player. He's an accomplished Magic the Gathering uh, pro. Yeah, the fact that you show up with the balls to actually bring Fane Daft to a tournament. <laughs> says a lot it, about it, you. It, it means you're good. Yeah. It means you're good, for sure. Uh, Stan Siska also like, brings some kind, somewhat normal decks, but they're always like Stan Siska specials, like Freeze Mage with like, Sludge Belcher. And... Stan Siska is like the biggest tryhard. He does stats on everything, and he like uh, brings the best decks, in his opinion. And he pillows them like almost perfectly. So we are going to see some really good uh, plays from Stan Sivka. I'm really excited for this. Who's going to win? I don't know. I'm, it's Hearthstone, man. But it's still last year's standing. It's better than Conquest. Yeah, there is actually... I actually don't feel hopeless in this format. It's good. Yeah, like, you feel yeah, that you definitely. outplay people. And when you lose, you feel that you got outpicked or outplayed or outpracticed. I or... mean, I, I brought Casino Mage. I, I don't <laughs> think I outplayed anyone. <laughs> You're just here to have fun, man. Yeah, yeah. Just... Uh... Enjoy, enjoy the studio, enjoy the event, and play Casino Mage. The most important thing that I want to see now is like uh, Toy the Shaman. Like I heard he has Shaman. And no. Let's make predictions. I have some bad memories about Shaman recently. <laughs> Do you think he runs Mechanical Shaman, the RDU speciality? I wouldn't say so. <laughs> Do you think he runs Midrange Shaman? Do you think he runs... If you, if, if you bring Fain Death Hunter, you bring Reincarnate Shaman. <laughs> Reincarnate? Reincarnate? <laughs> that card is like... Yeah, it's as bad as Fain Death. You're getting a bit overboard, guys. <laughs> it's almost guys. the same card. It's almost the same card. He's bringing. He's re, he's gonna have reincarnate eh? two copies. Yeah, but I expect mid range hunt, uh, shaman from Toy Day, I'd say. All right, so control war against handlock. Handlock. That's pretty standard. Yeah, handlock. Handlock's really good in this matchup. I'm already upset that it, this is too standard for me. So wait, so Toy is probably the handlock. Therefore, yeah. well, is it Sludge Belcher? Is it classic handlock? That seems like it. That's he might have yeah, managed yeah. to outpick his opponent though in game one. And he got the matchup he wanted probably. Oh, uh, so Stan Six's Paladin was banned and I I still can't say his name. Toide. To Toide. Can can it not be just feud? <laughs> Toys. <laughs> De. Toide. A toy. Right? His warrior was banned anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, try me again when I'm sober. <laughs> I want to see the shaman. I want to see the shaman. I want to see the shaman too. That's exciting. Uh, Stan Sivka seems to be running a weird warrior. Like slam is not the usual card you, you uh, want to play in. Uh, it's been a, in slam, a slam, lately. Yeah, it's semi-standard. And I'm curious to see if Handlock has Ragnaros, for example. Brawl's probably the best card in this matchup from the controller side. Mm -hmm. uh, no executes, no big M hunters, no shield slams, no acolytes. He was messing like, oh boy. That okay, that, that, that is like the <laughs> toy day speciality. I don't are, know what to say. Are we seeing the ponies come out here? I mean, it's really, good, it's really good with Belcher. Like, you get double slime. He's like the perfect defense, the, Dread, the German defense. <laughs> uh, Dread Scale is actually the best card in this matchup. Like, there is not a better card against Control. Oh, is this Dread Scale? Or Dread Steed. Dread Steed, yeah. The pony deck. No, you well, can still you, lose, though. You, Baron Rivendare, no Dread Steed? I right. mean... Just, let's just wait and see. Like I'm already hyped about this. I told you, Toy Dev always plays this kind of interesting stuff. Yeah, dude. So you just drop this uh, Baron Ribbon there on turn four and just send a message. I, <laughs> I, I got no Death Rattles on board, but let's do this anyways. Yeah. It's good to set up with Belcher, right? I think he might tap some Fury. You just play and then you play Belcher and then you get double slimes and you protect the Riven there, man. That's not value, though. Oh, it, baby. It's yeah. super value. Double slime. But you don't have any more Death Rattles in your hand for now. I, I definitely I, agree with this play. 
So the up, Boombas hit twice. Yeah, tapping Sun Fury <laughs> is obviously bad as well, but you want to dig deep for your dust like, seeds. What, what's better than two Boombas? Four Boombas, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Um, and I guess it's not getting executed. It's not getting shield slammed. You're not... You don't respect this card as warrior, right? You don't kill this. Like, if you... If you like, no, you don't go out of your way to kill it. can't kill it, but if he could, would he kill it? You probably slam Fire War Axe, right? And, like, set up the kill. He doesn't know about but Belcher. Then, yeah, yeah, but then you expect, like, turn 5 Sludge Belcher, so wasting Slam and Fire War Axe to deal with that, isn't that, like, wasting your resources? Why don't you just coin Belcher? Yeah. Seems like it. That seems like a, a stronger line, the line stands to the shows. And here comes here comes the Baron River and their value. We're, I think you might want to have a trade. lot of slimes this game. I think you might want to trade River there into Belcher this turn. Why? Because it goes 3 4 next turn. If it trades into your Belcher, 3 1, you got Metal Coil as well. And you realize you can trade next turn, right? Yeah, you can always make and the Metal attack Coil next, next turn. turn then, yeah. Yes. Is less susceptible to execute and stuff. Thing is, you don't really have a play next turn that will allow you to Argus your Riven there, for example. Getting your Riven there executed at this point is like just no, that's probably. Dream, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming the like the deck's built around it somewhat, so I guess you don't want it to die immediately. Depends you if he runs Keltuzad, does he? <laughs> Keltuzad and Baron yeah. Riven there. Yeah, it's reinforced. I don't know. I wouldn't say that's an ideal, but it might be a possibility here. That's all over the place. There's no, <laughs> there's no way Kalthazaz. I've played Dreadsteed recently, like Sanford Glass's uh, decklist, but he didn't run like the threads or Molten Giants or anything. So I'm wondering what he's actually running in this entire decklist. This doesn't looks even really look, look like Dreadsteed. It just yeah, looks it like it looks like Handlock, handlock with Baron Riven there. <laughs> like classic on it. It's not. It might not even be the Demon Package. There might not even be yeah, white color in this. Maybe he cut the Twilight Drake for. Baron Raven there. And then you still dr run the demon package? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just want I want to see this deck list and I want to play it. You got a net good. deck? And Francisca's just like, well, I'm not going to kill his sludge voucher. Yeah. Don't, you, don't you think it's important to like play stuff that is out of the ordinary to like uh, make your opponent uh, not make the obvious place and take him out of the comfort zone? Yeah, absolutely. But I wouldn't never bring Baron Riven there to a competitive tournament. I'm... Like, really? Did he just not kill I'm Belcher? I'm not that good. Did he just not kill Belcher so he wouldn't make two slimes? Yeah, he's good. But yeah. he could have easily dealt with a slime with his 3-5 Belcher? Yeah, but you don't want to give him value. Gotta... He's getting the value if he wants to on his turn. This is true. He's going to defend her and Mortal Coil and kill the slime. Which is giving him value by not, oh, by not nope, having traded. Nope, nope. He, he, wants his, uh, oh. he, he wants his double slime value. Here we go. Multiple copies of Slime. I think he wants to coil this one. He's probably going to double coil and then play Defender of Argus. That seems good. Where do you defend her? Um, Loses? On the 1-7 so you can trade. But no. then it's oh, there is, oh, oh, there is... There is a... It is the Demon Baggage. This deck is all over the place, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> there might not be Twilight Drake in this. Oh, maybe there's no Mountain Giant. Yeah, probably not Mountain Giants. Maybe just a Dreadsteed with Moltens. Is it is it brawl time already for Sensiska? Like, what? I'm confused. I'm out of my comfort zone. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. I'm glad I'm casting and not playing right now. And you're the player that uh, usually brings a lot of tech cards. Ah, uh, just against you. <laughs> there are two brawls though. And if he expects red seed to a certain extent, like you're not really gonna have good opportunities for brawl. Uh. If you do yeah. expect Dreadsteed. Dreadsteed is pretty good at surviving Brawl. <laughs> On average, it always survives. <laughs> is he just going to be like Shield Slam Baron Riven there? I don't want to deal with this. I wouldn't fault him for that. I would kill it. When I see weird stuff, I tend to want to, to kill it immediately because your opponent probably has a plan. So far, he hasn't shown it, though. <laughs> oh, he can owl it. Ooh. Oh, wow. There's an owl in yeah, Troy. Yeah. That's... That's that, interesting. That's some anti-aggro control warrior right there. Yeah, he ran the, that list at the Dreamhack Cluj. Is it the same list? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Double. It's very similar. Like, double. I saw the Owl and I saw the Brawl. The double Brawl, I mean. You see Marmor again is, like, feeding into Brawl as much as possible. Uh, no double value for the Sylvanas, unfortunately. So Sivka is playing around Boom by not having Axed. Because there's sort of seven right now. If Boom yeah, drops, he, Brawl he's, hits. Yeah, yeah he's, he doesn't want to telegraph he has Brawl by... And he wants to get more value out of his brawl, so he's not equipping the fire, which is really good. Yeah, he's just saying, and, I don't have a weapon. And unfortunately, like, you kind of have to 
Oh, no. Void Oh, oh <laughs> baby. <laughs> so it's a dress if it molten giant. It exists. Wow. Toy day. So I look at this and I'm just like, well, Warrior loses because that card's broken against Warrior. No, I've played this matchup quite a few times. You kill yeah. his Sarah for free. Do you see that two mana card in Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Death Ifka's hand? That two mana card. <gasps> oh my. Is, is, he gonna, is he going to out the Void Caller though? Does he, he, there's no way he knows no, about no, the no. Dreads, dude. No, but he saw Baron Raven there. There should be oh, better Death Rattles. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Maybe he does know about the Dreads, dude. I mean, Void Card is something you can control over time. And you got Brawl to support it as well. Is it Brawl time already? Here, or no, 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 no. You no, would have no, Brawl no. last turn. Really? Whoa. Yeah, 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 you have two Brawls. Just he has two, yeah, yeah. He just wants the value. And yeah. now if Dreads T comes out, you can just silence it. But you don't want oh, to silence it now, void. right? Oh, is he gonna drop the owl before the dread scene comes out? That's no, no, no. no. Tense is because too good for dread scene. He has BGH as well in case Morganus, so he can just set up. Yeah. Doctor Boom seems like a good reload after Brawl mm -hmm. just happened. Will the second Brawl be played now? I think so, right? Probably. Maybe, yeah. Seems reasonable. Like Boom is the biggest. Instead of oh, Brawl. Well, no, you don't need the Brawl. You can just like shield slam Despite. You have big yeah, game hunter for what it, whatever yeah. comes out. Maybe a shield slime owl in this, but I really want to see this dread steed work, so I want to see San Francisco blow this out with nothing useful. <laughs> it's gonna be really good when this owl gets wasted. But wait, dread, dread steed's like not good with like without Baron Riven there, right? You need like multiple ones of them for it to be good. Um you you have probably Keltuzad too in the deck. Uh, yeah, actually Fingers Keltuzad in this deck. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just don't see where's yeah. room for everything, though. Bro, I'm if Boom, sur if Boom survives, this is pretty pretty bad for Sifka. Yeah. Again, <laughs> that could, that, that uh, Void Caller is pretty much Red Steed on its own. It just doesn't <laughs> die. Still doesn't owl it. Being patient. Uh, okay, his Twilight. He, he's just playing like a 35 card deck. He's oh, cheating. Exactly. Yeah. Toy so is playing Yu-Gi-Oh here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do you make all these cards? How do you get all these cards? I can't do that when I build decks. Play one of each, man. Just show them off. <laughs> uh -huh. He's preparing for the... What's the card name? The 4-6 that heals you the full? When you have Reno one Jackson? Else. Yeah, he's preparing for the Reno Jackson meta. Also you can, Malganis. Play you can play it starting in two days. How do you also fit Malganis in this deck? Oh, don't ask me. He probably cuts... Oh, you're playing demons. He probably doesn't play Hellfires. He, there's no... I don't think there's Mountain Giant in this deck. No, there's no way it's Mount, you have Mountain Giant in this. As soon as we saw... Riven there, we made the assumption of Dread Seed. Uh, if he has Dread Seed... Double Brawl, double Big Game Hunter seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he runs Dread Seed, he's obviously going to have Morganas. Then this guy's not, not even a Grimace from him. He's just like, hmm, I've seen this before. I've, I've practiced against this. I mean, people warned him before the series that Toy Day is playing weird stuff. But that weird? Like, <laughs> I mean, if you think this is weird, wait till you see his Shaman or Druid. I'm pretty sure he, they're not standard. Toide always likes to be inventive, and he plays the decks really good. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll, 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 I'll believe works. you when I see the KT. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but do you out the Dread Seed or the 410 here? <laughs> <laughs> nah, the Dread Seed for sure. I mean, they are both 4 drops. It's a Dread Seed deck, so you kill the th team of the deck. I don't know which one you out, to be honest. Like, seems more relevant. Oh, no, no, oh. you have to dress. That's some, that is a level of respect I did not expect. Wow. You know okay. what he has to do it, though. He's afraid so, of some... Oh. So, how do you fit everything in? <laughs> you, do, you don't play Hellfire. Probably the only Shadow Flame. The, I mean, Shadow Flame is probably the only removal. And he has, like, Dark Bombs and... So he's not running Demon Rats, either. So he's yeah. very weak to, to aggro in general. And no Watchers, either. Or Eggs, or... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, no Watchers, okay. So no ugly game, basically. Which is good versus Stan Sivka's uh, greedy control warrior. I'm not sure which deck wins. Like, uh, Sivka's deck has double BGH, double Brawl, Owl. Is BGH really going to get value in this game? Malganis. Yeah, on that and the Molten Giants. And the Molten Giants, it's, if they get played. This game's going to come down to Jiraxis. Yeah, exactly. to Jiraxis. yeah, yeah. The, the biggest old... win condition Warlock has access to is Jiraxis. The problem is, Warrior can always threaten 15 damage plus with Grom, yeah, Task, and, and a weapon. And Grom, and Task, and Despite's already exactly. equipped. Exactly. Yep. That's 16. Uh, 15 if you have an Axe equipped, etc. So it's always going to be dodgy. If you run out of taunts, past your Axes, then you might lose the game. So it's looking like a Sun Fury Sylvanas turn. 
Do you, you overextend that much? Like, you don't want your Sivonas to be shield slammed or executed. Uh, it's gonna happen. Well, the four dead is gonna get executed or shield slammed if you don't play the Sylvanas anyways. And you can't just, like, float six mana, do nothing this turn. But you, you can play the heal bot. With two Molten Giants in hand. Come on, RDU. Come like, on. Like, no if you study Stan Sivka and you know he does double BGH, do you really want to play threats into his stuff? Does he know if there's two BGHs? If he watched the Dreamhack, yeah. Okay, yeah, fair. Uh, so the sh shield slam is happening, and mm -hmm. Justicar is getting dropped probably. Justicar is good. That's card. pretty good, actually. Actually, yeah. kills a lot of. I think the best class for Justicar is Warrior. Like people say, she's really good in Paladin, that, or um, You're both in Paladin and Warriors. Have you tried it in it's Shaman though? In Shaman? I yeah. never seen it. Oh. How, how is the uh, animation? So pretty much against Control Warrior, exact. Oh, you, well, you get the four totems that come up, and you get to choose which one. Which is really cool. And you always picked Haunt Totem because Taunt Totem is broken against most classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The late game. You just, be con you just farm Control Warrior with. Or you play to Mech Shaman and you always get spell power. <laughs> that seems. What? I'd recommend Cobalt Geomancer. <laughs> 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 Way better. Alright, so Just Scare comes down and. Actually, yeah. If you, like, Warlock's like on a clock now, right? Because like Justicar is going and eventually you just can't win. You fatigue them. It's easy. You fatigue Warrior? Yeah, with the second red steed. <laughs> <laughs> you, ju you just need the Force and, and Commander. And the Kel'Thuzad. You just need the pre-nerf Force and Commander. Does he play Molten? He here? plays Hellfire too. Yep. He actually has all the cards. He's playing a 40 card. I said 35 earlier, but this is a 40 card deck. <laughs> yeah, I told you he's playing Yu-Gi-Oh. He found some hack in Hurt Sound to do so. <laughs> All right, so nothing really going on for San Francisco. His hand kind of sucks, to be honest. He has all the weapons. Executes a good one here, kind of. You can kill everything but the Sun Fury, but you waste all your resources. He can go for a two-turn lethal. Execute and then go for a face with a BB. What are the odds your opponent can't heal? That is not the play. Like Your opponent's drawn like 17, 18 cards, something like that, and you're just like, go for it, really? <laughs> Feels bad, man. Taskmaster execute. That's kind of bad. Like the the reach with the Grimage from the Taskmaster is like really good in this matchup because of because uh, of uh, Draxus. But that uh, just that is so patient. He's just gonna take like twelve from that. He needs to can't spend. He knows he can't spend Grimash. It's his one no, condition. No, he cannot. Yeah, yeah, you can never spend Grimash in this matchup. Well, not this match against Handlock. Yeah, you don't know last time when they have another uh, is, is this even this is considered a handlock still, right? Yeah, yeah. That's is it? One. Because you play from the hand or why? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, there's like there's life tapping. The there's life tapping involved, that's why it's bad luck. You have the Belchers, the Moltons, Draxes and uh Morganas. Well, we don't know about the Draxes. You do have to cut something for ponies and You just cut the two drops, yeah, I guess, the watchers. Uh, but Jurexus is quite the win condition versus decks like Warrior Control. Yeah. Isn't Andrew. Dread Steed mage even. the win condition? Not exactly, no. It's part of it. No, the Dread Steed part is just the funny part. <laughs> yeah, for example... Um, <laughs> Doesn't necessarily win the game. Many matchups, you finish them with like six Dread Seeds and play Malganus for 18 damage. Uh, so yeah, the game hunter number one is coming out. Oh, by the way, Toide's teammate, uh, Sam Glass, says that... Uh, I thinks at least on stream, that uh, Drested is one of the top tier decks of this meta. He finished top 20 uh, legend in uh, last season. Was, was, was he playing on EU by nature? Yeah, on Europe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> the <burn. laughs> that's, that's way too easy. Didn't you move... Aren't you playing for a French team? Yeah, yeah but I still play on NA because it's harder. I need, I need a challenge. It's harder. I don't want to take, all your, I don't want to take all your tournament money. How you? many European players play on NA for points? How many <laughs> NA players po play on EU for points? Well, the EU players apparently play on China. <laughs> China <laughs> and Let's NA. Let's be yeah. honest here. <laughs> Alright, so big plays can happen involving this Void Color off the top, this Sacrificial pack, and prop, maybe a Shadow Flame for the Board Clear. There's probably a better play, though. Um... <laughs> Depends how many cards he I has. mean, you don't really want to Shadow Flame a BGH and an Armor Smith. You probably just ignore yeah. them. I, I hate this spot as Handlock where you have 10 cards in hand because you just yeah, yeah. want to click that Hero Power button. It looks like you're close to Fatigue, though. I don't think you might want to Hero Power He anymore. has like three cards remaining. Yeah, yeah, he's running out of stuff very so soon. So you might Hellfire, Void Crawler. 
and yeah, this seems okay, right? What's? I don't think you're on molten. What? Uh, are, you, are you are you sudden furious? Or you're not at the ground? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about that. Or you just get the sack. The oh, Belcher is fine. Like, yeah, because you don't want to just taunt the void caller. But like, he's playing so slow. Is he, is he just running out of time against the Jessica or Hero Power? I don't think so. So that's two threats in him. He only has like three cards left though. Six. Oh, it's oh six. six. Okay, six. he has a bit of time. He has a bit of time. He should be fine. Jirax is going to be the big game changer. Huh? If, if he has Jirax, he finds it. Of course if he, he plays it. Of course he does. Can I take bets on that? If he plays Jiraxus, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he plays no Jiraxus, way he's got a Jiraxus. If he has Jiraxus and kill to Zads, then the Dreadsty deck is favored to win here. And before he only plays one Dreadsty. <laughs> I'm going to be very disappointed when there's no KT and not a second Dreadsty. <laughs> that that would break my heart. Sorry, Purple. There's, all right, there's something else that's going to get BGH that's going to get played this turn. Uh, what else is he doing with the mana? Like, you might want to tap Molten Healbot. On the bright side, the Melganis won't get BGH'd after the Molten gets BGH'd. Exactly. Ooh, there we go. Second dress seed. Oh, that's a good card. <laughs> uh, can can you void? Yeah, you can void color and sun fury. That's a pretty good turn. Is Dread Street that good in a deck that doesn't have that many buffs? I think though? Healbot is better here uh. if you do play Jiraxus because Jiraxus caps you at 15 health. And you're gonna need taunts, not not healers, at that point. This is true. Uh, would he still die in this position with just the ooze at 19? Uh, unless you're right. no, no, yeah. she wouldn't. No, no, you're. It's only like 15 max with a whirlwind and a grimash. So exactly. It's absolutely fine. Uh, Sylvanas gets out, so it doesn't really do anything. Grimash isn't the play, but this big game hunter does something good. Kills that 8 8 for free, so. Mm -hmm. That's happening. I just play BGH Sylvanas, I suppose. You're still not dead. Zen's just got through double brawl, double BGH this game, and he's not out of the woods. This is good deck building. The, the Dreads team, the pony build, it's yeah. really good. Stan Sika doesn't really have a win condition, other than Gromash. He doesn't have that many legendaries to like apply pressure to the board. Are you saying you need legendaries to win in Hearthstone? <laughs> in Contra Warrior, yeah. Like, you're, not you're, not gonna win, you're not going to win with Armorsmith and Krolltas Masters. Uh, you played against Hunter recently? <laughs> <laughs> Those cards are pretty good. All right, so... It, he, there's no way you attack with Death by here, right? Uh, no. Nah, you just chill. <laughs> and... Dread Steed and Chill. Oh, Second sacrificial oh pack. You I mean, can just go back up to 29 <laughs> this turn. Isn't double packed very janky? Um, I'm I'm afraid to play handlock against him. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, my Drax is going to lose do you the draw, game every time. Do you draw board color with Dreadseed? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't want to tap anymore, but you do want to reach your Draxes. You also want to get the Void Color's value out before you have Draxus in hand. Mm -hmm. to, so you, there's like not the risk that exactly, you pull the Draxus exactly. out as a 315. Because the 315 actually doesn't do a lot against Control Warrior. You can also bring out Malganus if he packs this turn, but that's a little bit over... You could, just play you could also just play Malganus here. It's not that bad. Uh, well. You could also just like Shadow Flame the Void Color. You can Shadow Flame the Dreadsteed. That doesn't... That only does one damage. <laughs> yeah, you killed the Shield Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> it is a board clear. <laughs> uh, uh, no, we're just playing Dreadsteed for man here. Life is good. <laughs> no longer tapping. Yeah, yeah he's, he's running out of cards. So it makes sense. That's mm. a good one. Dr. Boom's a good one for sure. But do you, do you want, actually just want to play the Sylvanas into the Red Steed so you can deal with it eventually? Uh, so like stealing Red Steed would be my game plan here. You could have played Sylvanas last turn. Is it that good? Them. Well, you could have played Sylvanas last turn, but there wasn't a Red Steed on the board. Yeah, yeah. Is it like what? What does the Warrior do with the Red Steed? One damage a turn, infinite value. I mean, <laughs> it, it can change to everything. It has forever. insane synergy of the Justicar, Hero Power, and Warrior. Mm -hmm. no, the best, boom, isn't the it? best thing that Toyde can do right now is to manage to win without using Sacrificial Pact because Stan Sivka has a Warlock, which is probably Handlock. Oh my... 
Oh, he's gonna get <laughs> beamed hard. I, if I was Toy, I wouldn't even use Sacrificial Pact. Like, yeah. e even if I needed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you know your opponent? Do you know your opponent's... Uh, Classes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah they, 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 know, they know, they know, he knows... Well, he doesn't know if it's Zoo or not, but... I mean... I guess it's San Francisco, so it's Yeah, it's San Francisco, so it's Handlock. So there is Lord Draxus, and... He can't kill Sylvanas. He needs to Owl this turn. Yeah, you just Owl Sylvanas. But you need to heal, otherwise you'll lose for 19 damage combo. You just Owl Sylvanas and Shadow Flame the Owl, right? Trade the uh, Void Boy Color, yeah, and then you that, get yes. the, the powerful Dank Seed. Yep. And then you don't that, get you don't pull Draxus out of Void that's Color? That's the problem. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a risky You just win the 50-50, it's okay. So you that's your own Void is, Color. Is, that, is this how you win tournaments? <laughs> <laughs> just fifth, oh. I mean, do you see another play? A better play? No. Okay. That so sounded actually, good. Winning the 50-50 sounded like a really good play. You was actually unlucky about drawing Drax last four or so. I mean, you, you can just heal about it and ignore Sylvanas for a turn. Yeah. Mm. Let's see what he goes with. Oh, uh, it is not a shadow play. Heal is obsolete after you Drax. He doesn't have. Oh yeah, he doesn't have the mini cards remaining. But he doesn't. He doesn't. He also doesn't need heal bug because he has double sack pack in hand. So exactly. like emer, emergency heals. Mm -hmm. You know what's going on here, don't you? You you, you, <laughs> you know all about the dang stage. I played this match. I'm trying to see how it works out with more threats. It looks pretty good actually. In fact, Sifka actually was forced to use both balls early on, crippled him in yeah. the long game. Um, I actually don't know who's winning. I'm just thoroughly confused as to what is going on in this game. I do think Warlock is ahead, as long as he can remove every single minion every turn. But um, Boom is coming down now. Because as soon as um, you pop Jaraxxus, if the warrior has a minion on board, he's going to thread in more than yeah. 14 every time. Oh. Since this guy's actually trying to pull out Jaraxxus here, and it didn't work. So that sucks. He so won the coin flip. There you go. That was a good player, dude. He did draw Well, play, well played, sir. It did drag again. This Dr. Boom is like gonna prevent like uh Draxus from getting played next turn, kinda. Of. Yeah, definitely. We have a problem though, like uh Shadow Flame is not doing much here. Uh, Unless he draws a BGH for the boom. Has he, he hasn't played a big game hunter yet, right? Nope. Maybe he doesn't play big game hunter. Ooh. He's gotta cut something. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. He's yeah. at, Oh, I think San Francisco has this now. I don't think he can answer the boom. Uh Draxus go? He's that one card in deck, bro. What is the last card BGH? That's, we don't know, right? But uh, he should. Know. He does have one card. If, if he tabs, it's definitely BGH, right? Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't have time to win. Like he's like the Drax is going to take like six turns to win, and he's going to like just run out of crap. Yeah, he doesn't have towns because he only runs uh, two Sanfiegi, one Argus. Maybe the last card is Argus to run the second one. I, I, I wouldn't say I don't, so. No. I don't think you cut big game under though. No, no, there's a big. That last card has to be a big game order. I mean, you need to find space oh, no, for no, no, Baron no, no, Reed no. in there. The last card's Keltazad. <laughs> <laughs> We've got over this. Yeah. It's probably Argus, though. Maybe I'll talk. This oh. is a manly play, if I've ever seen one. He might not even have time to finish the turn because of the rope. No, no, he's got it. Look at the APM. Get him. If you sacrificial pack yourself. Do you go to five? Don't you just die? Oh, game. Slam top deck allows Sensitive to activate his ground actually for him. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, he's going to enjoy killing some dang teams a few more times. And I wanted to see uh, the last card. Oh, than, he's not showing slam. That's actually really smart. He's not showing the second slam. Yeah. And he's not uh, showing another card to the stream. Yeah. Smart. Last year standing. That was really, really. I didn't think about that. I was like, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, it's a small thing. It's a small thing, but it's something. Any advantage matters at this level. Yeah. So Dangsteed is eliminated, unfortunately. I was hoping to cast three Dangsteed games, but he still has Shaman. <laughs> Eater is still Shaman for sure. I know the reason for why he brought Shaman to counter the Dreadsteed from other people. <laughs> oh, because you have Earthshock? For real. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I should have thought about this. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Maybe Toy did write the meta perfectly for... I, I mean, probably not perfectly, but uh, he expected that Dresdy to be played. Maybe. By himself. Okay, <laughs> so he queues up the Shaman. And Thunderbolt oh. plant. 
Ooh. All right. I thought there's someone. That card in the this wall. looks kind of normal. Yeah, he's, he's mid range. What do you think about Valiant nowadays as a card? Um, it's really bad in most exactly. matchups. Like um, it, everybody tried it in the Shaman as soon as it came out, but uh, it never actually got the if, value people wanted. If you wanted asked to. me about Shaman, I'd give you the same answer in general, but <laughs> that's a healing wave, and this is a janky, janky Shaman list. <laughs> It's probably like a control shaman. It's not like a mid range. There's shaman. gonna be reincarnated in a sec. Looks like the Every initial time. the initial drafts of mid range shaman when TGT came out. You just played Valiant. You played a healing wave and shit. Yeah. And it looks like we're going back to that. Or <laughs> or there's a reincarnated in the deck. And, it's and needs, multiple kills. And kills are gonna <laughs> happen. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, not at all. When you do, when you see Dangsty in game one, you expect reincarnate game two. Like this is just this is just how um, last hero standing works. What is he gonna have in the druid? What is just standard druid to like free out? Oof. Oh, I don't know, man. Isn't druid really good against Stan Sifka's lineup though? Like if Stan has like handlock, control warrior, and freeze mage. For the most part, I don't really care what my opponent queues. I just play druid. It's good against everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good strategy. Yeah. You, you want your group, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just try Nervate. Yeah? Win Nervate and Tempo Mage. Really good. Oh, yeah, Tempo Mage is pretty good, too. Just gotta get really lucky. Was it your best deck? Tempo Mage? Oh, by far. By Tem far? Oh, Tempo Mage is really good when you get lucky. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is awkward. He wants to keep the coin for the Fire Elemental. He cannot afford to coin the Thunder Bluff. You want to get value. That guy's like a turn seven play, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah so Six with coin. Netflix and chill. Like. We're just <laughs> doing nothing for a while here. Got a couple of hexes. It's That's going to be good. another long game. I actually don't think Stan Siska has enough breaths to actually win this matchup. Because he's playing Owl, two big game hunters. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why this Shaman is really good. He doesn't good have Alex. Yeah, yeah. The, the Brawls look definitely good, right? But... It's not enough since you can repopulate tokens. Yeah, you just keep making totems and you win eventually. Wait a second. Shouldn't this Shaman also free Stan's lineup? Like, it beats Freeze Mage with Healing Wave. It beats Handlock because of Hex and Earthshock. Are you Alex me? I just healed for 14. Wow. <laughs> Maybe Stan oh. runs two. My god. Are we going to see Shaman 3-0 <laughs> for the first time since 2014? Reddit is going to get the boner. Yeah, Reddit's going to enjoy this for sure. Whoa, he's actually swinging. I don't know about that. The one ones are dangerous. Yeah, that seems unnecessary. Do you Urshak the Arcolite just to he, get the value? Yeah, yeah, you definitely Urshak here. You have two hexes in hand. Like Fire Elemental is eventually gonna find something to poke. And but like Deathbite just traded one for one of Haunted Creeper. That's all it did. So bad. Okay. Maybe just Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm that? Lightning Storm is not good against Warrior. Okay. That is true. But then you cannot play Fire Elemental next turn. His next turn is Shield Maiden, Sylvanas, or Justicar. I guess if it's Justicar, you want the option of Fire Elemental. Uh, I don't know. I, I, Earthshock Totem seems bad. Depends if he has a second shark or not. How bad is Fire Elemental in the Acolyte? It's pretty bad because your guy just yeah. dies to like fire or X, any weapon, and your opponent just drew three cards off that light, so he probably has weapon, which Stensiska does. So probably the best play is just uh, ignoring the option of Justicar and going for the Lightning Storm then. Yeah, I, I like the Lightning Storm a lot. You, you kill two guys and you only use one card, and this is going to be a very grindy matchup, so... All right, I'm wrong. I also don't play Shaman. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this at all. It just dies to death by. Whoa. Oh. The risk to the second death by. He is might not say play around. Yeah, this. my opponents draw two death And the fact he's going on six, man, he might not even want to tell Totem next turn. That was really far fetched in my opinion. But there's like slam as well, shield slam, execute. They think this guy's dying on the spot every time. Or he's actually baiting out some hard removal, maybe? He wants to curve me to Fire Elemental, that's why he did the play. Yeah, I think yeah. it's okay, like, he's in such a good spot. With the removals in his hand, that he can afford to do anything he wants. Uh, yeah. Maybe not everything, but most things. How many threats does Stan have? Like Shield Maiden, Sylvanas, Boom. Grum. That's it, right? That's all we Just saw the last card, game. Grum, Belchers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 
you got a lot. You got to cut a lot of garbage for those bad guards like Owl and Double BGH, Double Brawl. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's like no bombs. So, you, so like Hex can go on to like Shield Maiden, and it'll be fine. It'll, Hex can go on Doctor Boom, which we're probably seeing this round, and that's probably getting hexed. You don't storm afterwards, right? It's not worth it. No. Uh, uh, well, you just, it's just killing your fire elemental, right? Allows you to keep your hexes for something else, but you don't. You know he doesn't have. Oh, where are you going to lightning, st lightning storm and trade? Yeah, that if oh, you storm, no. you trade. Oh obviously. no, no, no! But no. I don't agree with that. Fire no. elemental goes face. Uh, Although one shield slam was just used, you don't really need to break that armor right now. No, but it's nice to have people in the face with fire elemental. Of course it is, but you still want to play the long game, and in the long game you win because your opponent. Has zero health. <laughs> this sounds like a good Ardi, Ardi, back, back me up on this, RDA. You're a mech shaman player, right? I mean, I was. <laughs> <laughs> what made you stop? Um, 111. 111 what? Uh, AGLC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did go face, yeah. yeah. Mech, sha mech shaman is bad right now because the best matchup they had, Druid, became a lot uh, worse for the Mech Shaman and a lot better for yeah, the Druid Darn because Darn of Darnassus. Good, yeah. yeah. That card's broken. That card's really good. Isn't Hearthstone a really balanced game overall? What's really balanced is these Boombots just killing Fire Elemental. Like, right, yeah, yeah, here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, oh. What? 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 That never happens when I play this game. <laughs> Fire Elemental died there, man. Sounds lucky. It's still gonna die. There's another boom bot. Flip another coin. Uh, uh, and there it goes. Uh, oh. oh. What? Axable, though. That's rigged. Yeah, yeah that's. And still made on top. That's fine. Yeah, this is a uh, this is pretty good good turn for your uh, senses. Yeah, and Warrior's back on track right now. There's no real good answer to Maiden. Hex? No. I mean, oh, you just drew big game under, so maybe you just hex it. He plays BGH in Shaman, but he hasn't played BGH in the Kedangseed Warlock. That was the last card, I'm telling you. <laughs> then why wouldn't he tap? He doesn't want to show it yeah. for the next series because he, he knows he free hosts anyways to the Shaman, or he why? He makes a good point. Yeah, he's just going to figure out Shaman. That's how confident he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Shaman is on paper favorite versus Contra Warrior, Handlock, and Freeze Mage. Uh, versus Freeze Mage only because of Healing Wave. Like what the I what don't does think play? that actually makes it favored. Maybe it does. When they Alex you, if you go healing wave while applying pressure with cards like Alaki and Flame Tongue. But you can't you can't put pressure on with this shaman deck. It's so slow and you can't pressure freeze mage. So like they can just make ten fireballs off Amphinitis. and then you eventually die. Okay. Oh, no flame tongue. No flame tongue just dies. Yeah, yeah. I uh. Stan Siska looks like he's in a good spot this game. Oh, is there elemental destruction in this deck? Do you think there's that? I um, don't know. I wouldn't be surprised by anything. <laughs> That's a janky card, right? That should be in here. Oh. You believe anything at this point, right? I, I still... Actually, no. It, it was, there's going to be a Kalthazad in the Shaman deck. <laughs> We didn't see a lot of this game, so the Kel'Thuzad has to happen eventually. Maybe in the Druid? This. What do you do here, since you did the Hex last turn? Um, if you roll spell damage, I guess you can yeah, roll you, Storm. This is why you play Justicar in Shaman. <laughs> Look how good it is here. But well, yeah, it's here. still not guaranteed, it's still a coin flip. So. And... Oh, misplay. I guess you just, like, chill until you get it. <laughs> I guess you chill next turn, go Double Storm if you can. For something, but this tank going over his tank, probably not. Uh, I'll play Belcher here in Hero Park or yeah. Belcher Acolyte. Stan Siska is like a really patient player, so I don't think he's doing anything but armor past this turn. Go face for one. Maybe he plays one Belcher. Now he's gonna chill. Yeah, Stan. Ah, does he? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And um, it's looking like it's gonna be a long game. The rock powder does help in clearing the shield maiden in case you don't roll a four on storm. Uh, yeah, no, you just keep waiting till spell power. Yeah, just, ch just, <laughs> just chill till spell power happens, and um, maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. One in four. What? 
On average, how many turns does it take to roll spell power totems? Four. What? You just <laughs> blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Should have been able to see Purple's face back there. <laughs> Oh, man. This is going to be a long hero power bastard. Yeah, hero power and chill, man. Oh, Ooh. no, he got bored. I think he's, he might go for, like, a flame tongue with the alicure. Nope. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, we're just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> hero power fast. Uh, how this current pace uh, in 27 turns says his kid will have lethal. Minus the healing wave part. No, he's pushing. Oh, him, now he's just like, ah, we're, this is going to take too long. Yeah. He still keeps the weapon at that. Oh, wow. Like, that's... That's that's going to get spell damage. <laughs> yes, yeah, eventually <laughs> spell damage is happening this yeah. turn. I really like keeping the weapon from Stansivka because he probably waits for an Argus or for a Flame Tongue that he wants to kill. Yeah. He does have two durability, though. He doesn't have... An, but he doesn't have another weapon in his hand. And yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not a real point killing healing totem right now. Ooh. Now? Now he does it. Why? Because uh, he has a totem alive. Oh, this actually makes... Oh, that okay. makes so yeah, much yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, now he can kill the chill maiden. This is so much better. And the armor smith. Oh, this is so much better. Very well played. The chill maiden. And actually, there's not a clean answer from Sensisca. He actually has to grom into that or brawl to get rid of that. No, wait. Mm. Well, yeah, he still has to grom in. But the healing totem... Ooh, and he drew execute. <laughs> he still has to use his face. It's still not like super clean. I, I don't know. This is like pretty good value alec here, right here. Mm -hmm. Killed two guys. It's a five health still. It's gonna eat it next. Oh, brawl number one. Go. Whoa. That is. Up. Oh. oh, that's oh. really good for Toy Day. That went poorly for San Francisco, for sure. Uh, yeah, he had a good 66 there. It's because he's gold and he's 100% to survive. <laughs> is that how Hearthstone works? The more money you put in... Yeah, he's going to play Belch rather than Hanks. I like this. Alright, uh, see what's going to happen. Can you healing touch minions too? I, yeah, of course. Can How do you know? Just, did you ever play that card? Yeah, just like you can lay on hands a minion. Okay. It says heal aids. Heal a character? Yeah, heal a character for aids. Okay. I can't see that. That's a good play this turn. Just heal it. You might, you might need that like later, right? Yeah, yeah. It seems a bit wasteful. Oh boy, this is going to be a very long game. I mean, how do you win the Jaws with so control Wagier? You have to run some janky stuff like Keltazad. Yeah, yeah, we've determined this. Keltazad is in all of his decks. <laughs> all of them. It was the last card, the last it's one. No last one card. saw it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every game. It's probably going to be the last card in this deck. No one's going <laughs> to see it again. But yeah, Keltazad's in all these decks. Oh, now he gets Spellfire. <laughs> Never lucky. Yeah. That's why you want Justy Whoa. Whoa! That's ballsy. No. That's unnecessary. No. Ro just, he might not have hit. time because of the rope. He's just hitting face for two. Oh! Oh my. Okay. Uh, get in. Get in there. And get now if he, if he has the turn, he steals the. Uh, that is time from San Francisco. Warrior in the joust. Easy. <laughs> it makes sense though. I like to play. Since it was awkward for Sivka anyway last turn, might force out the execute. With two hits from the axe, I actually. don't think that's it. It wasn't actually that awkward for Sivka. He just actually just doesn't really care about it. No, he missed the brawl. Yeah, yeah he brawled and he's like, ah, well, whatever, we'll just leave it up. That's the shaman. That's fine. Yeah, leave it up because we can contest it with both Belcher, Belcher and, yeah, yeah. and Belcher. But now you really... Hey, you, just you can do the same play again. Yeah, sure. you just play Belcher again. And hit it again, probably. That's fine. Is playing Totem Golem good in a Joust deck? Like uh, he has the Joust no. card. I would probably, I would not recommend that. Joust is simply not good. Yeah, so... <laughs> Stances got fed up with that. Just yeah. executed that garbage and... Sledge hey. Belcher, armor up. Good turn for I him. I figured there's only so many threats anyway that it can execute. Uh-huh. I suppose. Uh, I want to hex that. I really do. Yeah. And so he's got a wall in front of him. Ooh, oh. never mana tied. <laughs> Hex and Flame Tongue seems like actually like a fine turn. Don't you worry, stand too much into the second roll. Uh, no, you're only committing the Totem Golem and the Flame Tongue, so it's only actually two minions. Yeah, that's fine. 
Uh, wait, is there a bloodlust in this deck too? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Everything's probable. The question is like, is there double bloodlust or one? <laughs> that is, that's good deck building if you have two. Yeah. You need to make room for the second brawl. But, uh, oh. And an armor smooth gets played. That's pretty the good. Second that, one. That's really Whoa. good right now. That's really good. Is the Fikitu guy a totem? He's not a totem, right? No, he gives you a totem, but he's not a totem himself. Oh, okay. That would be busted. That'd be that'd be filthy right now. Just trade into the Belcher. Shaman busted. Yeah. Eddie giggle. Why does Sifka only have nine mana? Oh, it doesn't show the overload. Um, yeah, he was over, he was overloaded for one from yeah, from the him. golem, so from the mm -hmm. totem golem last turn. But uh, yep, we're gonna have a valiant turn with the. Oh, do you pl you play the flame tongue first, the buff the flame tongue too, right? Oh yeah, yeah sure. I guess yeah, you yeah. Could, yeah, and then you can kill everything. But you're really scared of second goal. No, 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 no. You don't play around that. You might. You might. You I might mean, force him eventually. I don't know. You can still challenge the the bell hand use by itself. Playing around cards I, is not something I would recommend. You can't ever kill everything. This, this play know. looks so good right yeah. now. And I know there's and not a second brawl, so. And you got the kind of taunt on him. Yeah, this good. worked out really good. This is a really good play. And no, bro. No what? answer to Valiant. That's insane. Oh, well, there is if he grabs into it, but... Does he want to do that? No. You might have to. I think you have to. Depends on what he draws right now. Let's see. Uh, Shield Slam. Okay, you don't have to anymore. <laughs> but I think you might want to still. No, you just play Acolyte pin. Kill, swing and then Shield Slam. Or Acolyte, Shield Slam, then Swing. You can swing first. Yeah, you go down to six. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Who do you think wins this game? Um, it's very hard to say, in my opinion, right? I want to say Fatigue. Fatigue? Mm. This is going to take a while. Like... Oh, we just oh yep, here. yeah, it's going to Fatigue. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, looking better and better for the Warrior right now. He doesn't want to play the Tempo BGH, but I don't think he'll find a target. Uh, I actually... I think Shaman Oh, wins. never mind. Well, I think Shaman went like Warrior is way deeper into his deck. Like, we haven't seen Azure Drake, we haven't seen any card Ooh, draw, true. we haven't seen any card draw from Shaman yet. And that is the second act of Pain. Yeah, we're not and aware both of both have draw, both yes. are going to draw multiple. It looks like Sifka is down to like three or so. Uh, no, he's not for he's like six. 10. You think? Yeah, it's gonna take a while, but I think I think uh, Shaman wins the Fatigue War. Oh, six. six. 11 to 6, yeah, yeah. Shaman wins the Fatigue War. Would you ever just not trade Acolyte and like play yeah. Boom? Yeah, I hope he draws one more. And also because of the heal. Oh, yeah, because he oh, did Tons wow. of this. If you got the 1 1, I think you'd trade the spell damage in. What if he just chills now? The thing is that you don't, want, phase and chill. you don't want to kill the Acolyte because you expect a BJ to know Boom and then you can just Lightning Storm both. It's good value. An Acolyte and a BJH for Lightning Storm? That's pretty good. Versus Warrior, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Like they don't sure. play Shades and stuff. Yet. Yeah, it's not... Oh, there, there, there. Just like, eh, whatever. Let's just jam out this boom out there, because, you know, Dr. Boom. And that's getting big game 100. You can... Yeah, you can make it guarantee that your opponent draws three off this acolyte, which probably is the play at this point. You just hit the boom bots in, right? Yeah. Kill the shit, make him drop three up the acolyte, kill the big game under with the yeah, boom definitely. bots. Yeah, yeah, just win by fatigue. Since this guy actually has no win conditions in his deck, so. Gromash and the weapons. Yeah, Tontotem is going to be a problem. I guess. Yeah, I don't. He has Brawl. He has one more Brawl, right? Yeah. There's one more Brawl, and we. There's. The, he played Boom already? He played one Maiden. He hasn't played Sylvanas. Sylvanas sucks against Shaman because there's just totems. Yeah, yeah. But I think he only plays one Maiden in this deck. You, you don't have yeah, space yeah. for two. Oh, well, you play one of your two big game winners. That's Actually, if I remember correctly, at the DreamHack Cluj, he didn't even run any Maiden. Stancy no Maidens. Fan. Yeah, so he changed the that, deck a bit. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, big game winner. No. Okay, now this is a good Lightning Storm. Oh, he's going to play the second big game hunter into this? That seems no, wrong. No, he does. 
Yeah, so you know, Swimmer hasn't been played. So. Let's see. Uh, let's see if uh, the fatigue plan is the play here. You just trade the beat, right? You just hit the. I would just start by hitting the boom out since you act late. Yeah, I think it's okay. And totem pass. If you know you can answer every one of your opponent's threats, why not? There's a hex. There's a storm. There's a big game on her. Should be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Seems fine to me. No. no. Oh. Doesn't seem fine to toy there. Eh? Yes, he wants to keep the boombots for later. Keeping the boombots alive is actually yeah, significant yeah. as well. Oh. Uh -huh. No, never mind. Really? Oh, there's that Iron Mikael. The notorious Iron Mikael. Might land on this haunted grouper and actually find a target. Oh. I mean, you can find better targets. You can just silence the town totem and then he's never going to get a town totem. Yeah. Good. That's actually pretty good. Unless you have the brawl in between, then, then you, that's, oh my god, that's like the worst card in his deck, isn't it? He doesn't even want to play it, right? Yeah, yeah he's not going to play shield block at this stage in the game. And I don't know if he's shield blocked already once this game. If he plays two, most of his deck doesn't do anything. He still has a brawl, though. He still has a brawl, but that doesn't There's actually... still a hex. All right, so... Console. Shredder, too. This toy deck is interesting. I think he runs zero blow loss, but he runs double thunder bluff, so it's just yeah. a... It's full totem shaman with uh, the healing thing. I think he hacked oh, the game grinder. again. I think he hacked the game again as running 35 cards yep. again. <laughs> and Boomba just dealt with a 6 drop. <laughs> Seems fair. He's not even allowed to hero power. Uh -huh. That's how good his deck is. No mana efficiency for him. <laughs> and I think I would have liked him to see, like, trade the totem so he can totem again and you keep the Boomba on the board. But it's like such a wider thing at this stage in the game. By the way, if you play Jesticar, can you get the, sec the same totem multiple times? No. I don't oh. believe so. Okay. So then it's bad. Yeah. I'm, I'm not that experienced in Jesticar Shaman. Uh, Unlucky. Yeah. Jesticar Hunter is the way to go, though. It's, it's, it's only three a turn, but you just play your Belchers, your heal bots, you survive, and you just click and keep click clicking your hero power bots. Your Explorer's hat, you mean? Your Explorer's hat, yes. Yeah. Wait, on the zombie chow. Oh. You got, gotta play... Uh, Gotta play the new wings. It's gonna be a lot of work. I'm not much for solo adventure, but I do like new cards. New cards are good. I really like this uh, new adventure. Is it fun? Yeah, yeah. I think it's really good. How many how many cards do you think in the new set are playable? Um, I reviewed the set and I think like twelve. Wow. Or ten. Yeah, I talked about Zigzo and we were both like four. I mean, uh, yeah. You're optimistic. You're very optimistic. It's more optimistic. than four, but um, yeah, very niche cards, some of them. And um, is this a hero power bastard? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Why? Well, it doesn't do anything. And, it does something. Oh my god, Shaman doesn't even get the hero power. <laughs> it's not even a hero power bastard. Yeah, there's no way you commit the fire limit on the brawl. Set him for ten and pass. Um, still a brawl. And, brawl oh, awesome. here's the other cards. And uh, surprise, it's brawl. It's not even good. He knew it was brawl, though. Yeah, he did he know it was baited, brawl. He could have baited Sylvanas into Hex. Stan Siska, can, Stan Siska cannot win this game. Yep. It's Yeah, he just cannot win this game. He has 12 damage. He needs to find 7 other damage somehow. How does that happen? Lineup wise, Stan Sivkast is really bad. Like, he probably goes Freeze Mage now, it's a favorite matchup. And then if he wins, then he has to face Druid with Freeze Mage and Warlock. This is true. That's not good on paper. Like, Toyota's lineup on paper is like super good against Stan. He's, uh, he's just a super genius bringing Shaman and uh, Pony decks. <laughs> the, yeah, there's no way Warrior can win at this point, right? Taskmaster, Tempo, BGH, try to make something happen. It's like very weak, but it, it has to happen because you can't just chill at this point. You're, you're like five cards ahead in fatigue. Feels bad, man. BGH, no value. And Lightning Storm? Yeah. Yeah, it seems fine. Otherwise, you're burning like Rock Biter. The fully clear of the Viral Mental. Uh, on a side note, like that execute will never be activated, so Viral Mental is not gonna die this game. Yeah, Viral, there's just besides Grumash running into it and then execute, it's not dying. 
So. Seems he doesn't want to storm this. Yeah, I feel like that's a slight mistake. Yeah, I mean, he could have stormed in Parliament of Chase. At this, like that. at this point, if he's not as sleepy as I am watching this, um, <laughs> he actually knows the cards and senses his hand, and he's just like, I don't need this lightning storm ever against his hand. Yeah. Yeah, but no. Uh, yeah, that's how you see it. He, he, prob he probably spaced out anywhere between like turn 6 and 18 of this game. Yeah, but either storm like, there, you never storm again. Oh, there he goes, saving Sa up two health. Saving the two health. That's a that's a heads up play. He knows there's. But if you did count the weapons, you would have known yeah, there's no weapons. He, know, he knows, definitely knows there's no death play because that's one of the big ones. No yeah. yeah, but considering there's no death play, he doesn't need to save the two yeah. health. But uh, yeah, I, I understand and, his uh, safety concerns. This gets hexed. I suppose so, yeah. Question mark. Oh, oh there's an my god. <laughs> it never ends. This deck has everything. Yeah, this is another. The other one, too. <laughs> this is another 35 card special. Um. It's like you're playing the whole class for once, right? Are you dancing zombie chow? I think you played as Neptulon. Yeah, and, and it seems pretty good. I think Toy they found a way to play Hearthstone. Just cut the one and two drops and uh, play value cards. Yeah, and grind warrior out of games. Yeah, you ban Paradin and win. That is. Oh, Cold Light Oracle has <laughs> a lot of burst damage at this stage it's in the game. Really funny. That's going to be like. Uh, how much fatigue is uh, Sensei Sen Sen going into? Two? So yeah. that's uh, three plus four Seven plus damage. five yeah, next turn. Right. He gives up before the cold light oracle. I'll respect that. All Everything right. is awesome. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's one one. Yeah, that's one one. We got probably three more games of Hearthstone. Let's shaman three O's. But Shaman might 3 0. It's Shaman and Druid from Toide. We don't know what Druid. I suppose it's standard. Like you cannot really go weird with a Druid, can you? And then Stansifka runs Freeze Mage and Warlock, which is probably Handlock. But the weirdest thing is like put Fel Reaver in it or something. Like that's how weird Druid gets. But I've been surprised. I saw like Dangsty today. I saw Shaman just in general with, to just value Shaman with Neptulon. Like he can probably build some weird Druid deck. Um, maybe uh, Fadius and Stalag, or Stalag and Tugan. Something cool might happen. Yeah. KT and get multiple 11 11s. Uh, so, probably expect Freeze Mage to going into this. Who's going to handlock? You want handlock into. I guess there's no burrs. And Warlock, whether it's handlock or not. I'd it's, say so. It's Sensisco. There's no way he's playing Zoo. Sensisco is just. He's pretty much just like Tyrion. He has just too much respect. He's just like. I mean, he played Zoo. I, I saw him playing Zoo once. Yeah, he's not playing Zoo, he's playing it. He plays what uh, his stats say is good. So if his stats say Zoo is good, then he plays Zoo. That would make sense. Uh, he's going for this Coin Watcher Owl opening, which is... Uh, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I haven't played against Shaman in so long. I don't actually... Is this good? I think it is because you don't want to be playing uh, your yeah. You don't threats. want to play Twilight Drake and Mountain Giant's okay. At least it doesn't get air shocked. No, Mountain Giant uh, is bad versus the BGH hex deck, right? Oh, that's true. And there is there, there is a BGH in the hand. He's just going for it. So what? What? Silencing Watch seems like the best play, right? Yeah, this seems like a really good opening. Just yeah. Start really interesting as well how he, he played it out. Oh, and but it gets a lot of mileage in the first few turns. It allows you to recover back in the late game. So if uh, Shaman plays his two dudes this turn, next turn he has mana for Totem and Rockbiter. He's really valuing that Hero Power, bud. He really likes Hero Power. Doesn't matter much on this occasion, though. Yeah. Um, well, not, I think developing the... Like, starting to deal with this board is, like, important. He's going to be able to Rockbiter the Watcher, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, if I was if I was sent this guy, I'd hit him in the face with the watcher, but that's just me. I really like trading because it plays around the um, the flame totem. Tank? Yeah, flame tank totem. Eh. No, obviously he's trading to his zero two totem, but um, killing Chow or not doesn't really give him good flame tank options because the four three doesn't really challenge the four five, right? So going for his purple set would probably net eight damage instead of just four. I like this uh, totem golem. You know it overloads. You still have like, like yeah, next turn you're Earthshock and you're a big game hunter. One of the two. Mm -hmm. Probably not both though. Seems like Earthshock. Okay, so Stan Cisco's playing the demon package. 
Uh, we got Sita Doomguard, but there's also Belcher, so that probably means he's actually cutting low feb. So probably no low feb in census because that is what you can tell from his first eight cards. Um, so many and he's gonna hit. play Twilight Trick, or is he gonna like Dark Bomb and tap? Dark Bomb and tap's not the worst. Like Twilight Drake is not good against Urshock. It feels bad. You just want to keep it until they use the Urshocks, if that's possible somehow. Or Shadow Flame it. Yeah. One of the two. But uh, then what do you do with the Giant? Do you just wait until they use Hex and BGH? Yeah, you just don't play anything and you hope Shaman goes away. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, nah, he doesn't have cards. It's fine. He'll just forget his hand somewhere. Uh, is he considering not killing this? That would be so strange if he doesn't Dark Bomb and Drain. What? Or Sun Fury? That'd be even stranger. So this low fed's really... Oh, no, we're on four mana. Yeah, Overload. Yep, forgot about that part. I forgot how to play mm -hmm. Shaman. I'm sorry. Uh, the low fed would have been sick because they lined up to play Sludge Belcher. But it's looking like Shaman's actually never going to do anything this game. Because like, next turn, though. Mountain Giant's going to get played. I guess the Game Hunter will come out. He didn't play Twilight, so he could draw more cards faster. Do you so think he's going to play Mountain? Isn't he going to play the, BG, the Belcher? I think Mountain Giant's better. Uh, I guess you're just hitting into the Taunt Totem anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah, you might as well play Sludge instead of putting 8 into it. Seems fine. Unless you're planning to dark bomb it. That seems... Well, you could, because then your Mountain Giant next turn is 4, and you could dark bomb Mountain Giant. Hmm. That makes sense. That's a bit too aggressive for my taste. Uh, these Fire Elementals are very awkward. And I guess you Fire Elemental and put damage on the Belcher? Yeah, yeah, because you want to Fire Elemental again next turn. Or roll a... Spell power and Earth Shock? No, you don't want to Earth Shock that. Yeah, you don't want to Earth Shock that for sure. Um, I don't mind phase either. Like, Siphon Soul is not a card anymore, so... Like, the Fire Elemental is going to get that guaranteed trade anyways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Siphon in forever. And Mountain Giants can... Oh, this is a bit awkward now for Shaman, because now he doesn't want to put his 6-5 into the 3-2. Because he wants the big game on her. So I guess the play is like totem big game on her. He doesn't need to big game injure in the kit in the sense that um, there's always going to be a target in the long game. Yeah. So you could... Um, Just play Napjolan. No, you could also Fire Elemental, put it through to 1 2. So he's going to be left with a 6 4 and a 6 5, none of which can get health fired. Both of which challenge the 8 8 down to 8 2. And then your Alec here can pop it with a bubble. I don't think it's good to play Neptulon because you go into the same way of putting the 6-5 into the 3-2, which you don't want. Yeah, and you overload a lot for like sir. So you either fire Elemental, but the 3-2, or you just BGH. You, you know what Neptulon does, though, right? It puts a bunch of Murlocs in your hands. Yeah, but it overloads these results. Well, so. I mean, Murlocs are really bad against Hellfire. You're playing Reactor right now. Unless you get a bunch of War Leaders. You get four War Leaders. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? So is this Big Game Hunter? Yeah. Oh, this Hellfire is looking beautiful. I mean, it's just Hellfire tap. Yeah, that's it. I guess that's actually not that bad for Shaman. He's going to be able to regain the tempo. Yeah? Uh, actually, no. There's going to be like a threat and a dark bomb, and you, and he's going to ignore the big game hunter? No, nope. he's going to Hellfire. No? Nope. No, he's going to play the threat. And dark bomb. Oh, the giant was free. Yeah, yeah. That's a good turn. And no hex. The big game hunter was already used. And what now? What now for Shaman? Tusker Loteb. Just go for face. I mean, you have to trade, actually. Yeah, you kill the 1-1 one, one and you get, what, like, 8 power in play, maybe 12. Then Alak here, you top the like, Grobiter. Uh, Will he get mana type? This is setting up playful. This is good. Uh, yeah, this is setting up playful. What do you mean? Oh, that's pretty good. Setting up lethal for whom mm. exactly? Oh, for Shaman. You just just draw the rock biter and <laughs> <That's> still <laughs> two left though. You're getting ahead of yourself, purple. One. Ah, this is fine. <laughs> Easy. 
So there's nine 12 on board with potential another 12 for exactly 24. That's a good play. That's a good play. <laughs> Six mana Mortal Coil, I don't think San is going to choose that to get rid of that big game hunter that's like so, so, so poor. Uh, he doesn't need to taunt up at this point, I think. That's a, like, that's a big board for Shaman. It's 12 power play, yeah, half your life Thorsten, total. Thorsten, Sunfury, Thorsten, Tap. Oh, I was, I was leaning towards the line of using like Twilight Drake and Defender Vargas. Also, the, the, yeah, the Emperor and the Sunfury seems fine, but you have two defenders in your hand. The, like, the handlock hand's like super clunk at this point. Mm -hmm. They haven't seen a shot come out though, but like committing Twilight into Argus already might be punished by Earth Shock alone. So it will definitely get punished by Earth Shock. Yeah. Sivka doesn't know that for sure, but you should suspect it, obviously. Yeah, we're looking at the hands, we're like, that's going to be a blowout. But I guess Emperor's Sun Fury seems okay too. And you open up more options next turn. Yep, that's how you can go. And he's sinking 8 damage into Tonto. That's embarrassing. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> That's the real fuel bad, man. 8 damage wasted. Uh, Flame Tongue's pretty good off this Dust Car, but do you believe that much? <laughs> I don't think so. What's uh, How many totems are there? How good is all right now? 8? 8? Eight? Eight? Yeah, 8. Uh, if the new one is going to be like 10? Eight plus one is well, not the, like, No, the, is, there, is there only one new Murloc? Murloc? No, uh, oh, there's like two or three Murlocs. I'm talking about... Oh, no, I'm just thinking Murloc name for a sec. Uh, <laughs> my bad. They had Murlocs, not Totems. You can clear the totems? board with Damn Alicure, it. if you notice here. Uh, yeah, you cannot throw away your win condition. Oh! That's, <laughs> a, that's a good play. That is a good play. Isn't the positioning bad, though? Uh, no, no, no it's the fine. love hub goes into the giant, the fire elemental hits it, then the big game hunter goes into sun fear. You might want to fire elemental on the left so you don't get a BGH able target. Yeah, that seems like a reason. Have we seen BGH from Handlock? I don't think so. No, there hasn't been a big game. But you still at the same time you might just force it because you got Neptulon, right? You have Neptulon in the hand, it's gonna yeah. happen anyways. It's fine. Do you trade? Yeah, sure. That was a good flame tongue turn. It's a good hellfire though if there's a dark bomb as well. Uh I mean, nope. You kind of have to Hellfire anyways. Yeah, nonetheless. You go down to 21. You can tap Hellfire Void Caller. Tap 22, yeah. 19 health. And you're and facing a Fire Elemental. So your opponent would need 13, which is just outside of yeah, like yeah, your yeah. Rock Fighter. Yeah. So that seems completely fine. Uh, that being said, Census is going to do all the calculations before he probably makes that play. Oh. Oh, never mind. That's. No, nah, if you beat JJ, you don't want a Hellfire, so... Yeah, that's... You don't want to oh, spend wow. both, right? That is so weird. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just going to be the white color. And and before you drop BGH after Hellfire, oh shit, <laughs> can't target anything. This Urshock's... I guess you it might could, be reasonable here. Yeah, you just Urshock and Alicure it, maybe? Again, do you want to... Give up your win condition. I think yeah, you might but, just lamp to longer. But at this point, you don't want that 3 4 to kill your 6 2, right? Definitely. That Fire Elemental being mm -hmm. on the board is such a big threat. And neither do you want to go face with Fire Elemental because yeah. it's 19, goes to 13. But, but um, you're I think probably it's too early for Alicur. I don't think you're going to spot where you can play around more Moltens. You know uh, he has a demon in the hand. You just go for it. Okay. <laughs> you just go for well, it. You got to say one thing. Okay, so either he has a demon or he has a Molten. You can't have both. Yeah. Can he? He only, no, Out of seven cards? No, no, no. A draw? It's impossible to have a demon and a molten. That would just be <laughs> cheating. So you just got to guess which one it is. And clearly it's not molten, so. Clearly. Yeah. You just talked to it. Uh, this looks like an easy turn to me. You just nap to long so refilling your hands. Yeah, this, this turn's actually ridiculously hard. Uh, I would lean towards the Urshock and the Elicure. Yeah. And that's because I'm stream sniping. <laughs> yeah, like seeing both hands is easier to play. And I would also put him right to 10. Okay. <laughs> 16 is the best HP to yeah, this is put a hand lock at. Uh, well, not exactly. Not exactly. Depends because, on the em em because the Emperor was played at this point. So that is that's, well, all, yes. that's a bit okay, right okay. here. And mana thresholds. Like putting him at 16 on 10 health allows him to six, Molten Shadow Flame, for se example. 17 was the magic number here because if you discounted both Emperors, or both Moltens, excuse me, the they would be 5 each, you tapped or 3 each. Uh -huh. And then you can Sun Fury with two Moltens. So yeah, the, 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 the Emperor accounting makes it really hard. And Ooh. is Doom Guard coming down? Oh Holy my shit. That is... Bejage, Mortal Coil. Oh. Not too bad, I guess. 
You just was obviously good for an epsilon, but he can still do the I, later on. Yeah, you do not see this very often. This is very for awkward for, that's oh, for them, nonetheless. That's no, it's spell not power? Good. Yeah, it's not good. There's no. three minions, but they're all big. Two of them are, yeah. Uh, I guess you just an epsilon, see what you get, and then trade into the Doom Gurn. Yep. At least you saw a BGH go out. You did see BGH, so this Nepsilon is going to have to be dealt with with damage. Yeah, this Nepsilon is going to challenge the Twilight Drake that is along with a Lightning Storm next turn, which is going to be pretty good. good. Can you fatigue a Handlock? <laughs> pretty much. Shaman? Do. I think so, right? Yeah. Man. He did it to Warrior. Let's <laughs> <laughs> fatigue Shaman, guys. Welcome to the new meta. Uh, the, what, what does he do with the rest of how much? I think you told him it's and trade. How much overloads Nepsilon 3? Yep. God, I'm bad at this game. It's so gonna have seven. Next turn, you can storm and trade an epsilon to do five nine. And you'd be clearing the board pretty much. Do you want to overload even more? You can have six mana. Six uh, mana available. The, the thing is, like the the two the Argus trades into the into the three two obviously. Yeah, yeah I was the, just the thinking totem. Two, yeah, yeah. I was thinking like totem pass and played slow again. The warlock is at four cards right now. Like doesn't have many options. Yeah. Um, I think Malganus is a pretty darn good option, though. And eventually, San Francisco will find Molten. Mm. The, fact, the fact he played Totem Golem allows Twilight Drake to trade into it. Storm is not going to have as much value as it yeah. was going to have if he just Totem Pass as well. Um, this game's awkward. Oh! Face. That's... Okay, so he needs game. spell damage and hit for four in Malganus. That's how you kill Malganus. Uh. That's pretty unlikely. Or what about uh, no? You can't play more in Storm. It's like one out of eight, right? You can cold light into hex. <laughs> I mean, has that, he played? That's that's a Has he played play. any hex? I don't one? think he has. There's been a BGH. Yeah, he hasn't played hex. There's been an Earthshock. Has there been a hex? So the Lannister plays 12.5 percent. What's the chance of drawing uh, a hex? He had 16 cards, so he should have 15 left. You draw two. So he's like 2 out of 15, and then he's like 2 out of 14, which is 1 out of 7. Oh, never lucky. Yeah, that is not spell power. Time. Okay, never mind. That's what You can figure that out on your own time. <laughs> you can't storm, though, here, and just trade for the first two minions. Malganus is going to survive, though, however. It was a better chance of uh, drawing Hex if he had double Hex and 15 cards remaining. It we was like almost double um, to draw Hex. Then, uh, can you just Shredder and double trade here? I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, if you double trade Argus, it's going to kill your 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't like that. If you Storm, however, you would need to have a Dark Bomb ahead. Oh, he's doing this to kill the Defender of Argus. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like this plan. He just gave up his win condition, though, the old Merca. <laughs> <laughs> win condition, sure. Well, I like yours going. you got to kill Handlock somehow. You just fatigue them. There's so... <laughs> You're just saying that because there's a Cold Light Oracle now, but there's no way that's going to work, is it? Yeah, it is. You can't fatigue your axis. He doesn't play Jaraxxus. You just make a big board. Yeah, okay. We'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes down. On a side note, Doomguard's gone, so San Francisco doesn't have any real taps into lethal at this point. He just... He just has, like, Molten Giants and Jaraxxus left, pretty mm -hmm. much. And Iron Big Elf. That's like a complete blank. Did we see Moltens this game? Maybe he doesn't run Moltens. How would that be? <laughs> There's no way you cut Molten Giant in hand like. It's the only reason that it's good. I mean, after seeing what I saw today, I wouldn't be surprised to see anything. It's just the giant clown fiesta is what you're saying. Uh, maybe he borrowed the giants to toy that to play them in the dang seed deck. Ah, oh, they just traded cards and... Oh, so it's just like a draft. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Hearthstone trading card game. Yeah. Oh, he just howled for the sake of it. Oh, that's... That's a pretty cool play. It protects the Neptulon on board, but this lightning storm's storm is looking yeah. good. Do you first call light, or you don't want to give your opponent cards? I don't. Really I don't think you want to draw even. I don't, I don't. Yeah, wait. There's like enough stuff in the hand. I think you want to roll spell power totem. Yeah, yeah. Do we even roll for spell power? You don't need to. You can just like uh, spell power totem, yeah, lightning storm, and shredder. Okay. Because you want to hit three if on Sun Fury or Twilight, right? Yeah, you hit three on one of them. It's a big chance you hit anyways. Yeah, I suppose so. That's but then again, you don't need to Shredder, Storm, and another minion. You can just play it slow. Well, Seven uh, health is pretty safe if you're clearing everything. I still like the Quill Light, how it looks like. Y you have a lot... You just want to mill... You just want to go to Fatigue and be like, go. You're a 7 health. 
There, there, you go. there we go. We figured out this turn. This was easy. And everything should conveniently die now. Conveniently. I didn't have too long has to go, but... Yeah, unfortunately. I think, I think, sure I think that's fine. Does he, does he, oh, he pokes for one. That was, like, the last part of this turn that I wasn't sure about. Because, like, these Molten Giants are coming. Oh, and there's a Jirax. If you were to see Molten, I think he would be inclined to Oracle into Hex. And he knows he has two Hexes left, so... He's not too scared of one Molten. I think that Jiraxis was... That was, like, a good turn for it. Yeah, probably. Most yeah. most likely, yeah. I think he fishes for the Moltens because yeah, mol he could play Molten and Healbot. You want to play Healbot before Jiraxus, right? Yeah. So is Stansiska actually just passing his turn here? No, he's going to heal. But if you Healbot, you count Molten. But if you Healbot, you just Jiraxus next turn, I guess he's going to go for that. Yeah, but that's like worse than Jiraxus now. Or Healbot, Jiraxus yeah. next turn, and then yeah, Jiraxus. Yeah. He would have he Jiraxus now if he wasn't going to do that. I think he has to pass. Oh, <laughs> this is not consistent. Yeah. Throw in the defender too. Oh god, that feels terrible. Oh, that's a nice draw. Yeah, allows the one one to trade in. How is, good? How good is that though? Wait, what? Is that it's even relevant? It's okay, right? You definitely don't want to call late. You're just doubling the chances of molten coming. Yeah, it was just like hero power. Tripling the chances of molten coming. Yeah, <laughs> Flame Tongue, Shredder, Pure Power. Don't you want to keep him at 21? You want to keep him at 21, right? Yeah, no, never attack. Just chill. How many cards does he have left? The Warlock? Two, three. Really? Four. Right. Yeah, less, le like less than five. Does no, he pass? Let's see if yeah, he... I guess. Yeah. That's a really solid board. Yeah, this is 12 showing. That's very Four cards scary. Left. And Molten There's cannot molten. be played. And. How does Tan Siska actually win this game? Yeah, I think Shaman has this. Does he have the Shadow Flame as Yelba here? And then Jiraxis? Oh, God. Yeah, uh, that turn he didn't play Jiraxis was... A mistake. Such a disaster. Oh! No, you don't do that. You you need Jiraxis to win this game, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe you don't. Shadow Flame. So, really? four cards... Oh. Okay, he wants your access. I think he might. Yeah, I think he just wants to be able to push the three damage. And like uh, bank and multi the game. I think. Oh. oh wow! But I think there's a, like a dark bomb left. So with like the defender in hand, he'd have four mm, of the Draxus, okay. and then he's at seven, right? It's actually a good plan though. So I think Sansisco has a dark bomb left, and he's setting up lethal. But this defender is. Uh, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Do you could play? also tend to. You could taunt. War, the Murloc, the 3-2? Yeah, draw, draw a card. <laughs> draw a card. You could, we, you, QT plays are definitely available. You already saw one Hellfire, one Shadow Flame. Demon Handlock tends to only run two AoEs. There tends to exactly. not be the second Shadow Flame or the second Hellfire. So, and also, you kind of have to defend her or you're going to die because you're at seven. So, You could Cold Light into Healing Wave, though. The Healing Wave is still in the Shaman deck. There's still 12 cards, too. But yes, Ooh, he will draw he, into it eventually. I think selling out with taunts probably wins yeah. the game. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, it's definitely not worth it. What happens if healing wave in your opponent does not have a minion in his deck? You he has Molten. You, you win, win the Jess? You win the Jess by default if your car, if your opponent does have a minion. That's pretty good then. That's what's going to happen, I'd say. Oh, here comes the cutesy play? No. Oh, you totally no, you would have had to play the Puddle's Taunt. Yeah. He might He's not attack. Biffy taunts yeah, he might not attack because he doesn't want yeah, to keep yeah, Molten's. Yeah. He doesn't oh. need to. 16. Still fine. Only it's one okay. Molten's going to play. Or two if he taps, but if he taps, he's so there's screwing himself. Sansiska can tap Molten, Molten. 50-50, he gets the second Molten at this point, right? It's very risky. Yeah, does he lose to it? 14? Three, can six, you eight, win 11, no. doing something else? I, like, you can tap Molten Defender. I guess the Defender is pretty good, so you can kill the 3-4 anyways. If you were to tap into double Molten, you would lose next turn to Oracle alone. And alone in the, the board, I mean... Right, but you're not putting your opponent on having cold light right now, right? <laughs> Do you? I mean, he has two more likes that much, you know? Oh! That's a huge draw. Is it, though? Like, look how much health those guys it's have. It's gonna help. It's that's gonna a, that help. guy has 13 health. The other one has 9. Yeah, but otherwise he wouldn't be able to kill the Molten Giant. He's gonna go for the Hex now, though. Yeah. Hex but he might want to Hex the, the Jiraxes instead. Nope. Oh, that helps a lot, though. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, the Lightning Storm and the, the Flame Tongue. That's, like, uh, exactly what he needed at this point. And I think that's... Is that good enough? Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It clears the board. 
God, Shaman is... clearing drags? How much is his Shaman out? is busted. Nice. Shaman is really good in last year was standing because if you lose, you're not punished for losing. Yeah. 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 Shaman was only bad because of Conquest forcing you to win and uh, so many free deck uh, lineups countering you. Mm -hmm. But if you face uh, opponents like Stan Sivka in LHS, you just beat the control decks. And Stan is definitely pro... I, like, I, I lost to Shaman recently at BlizzCon and I'm like... I, I was definitely red in the face and uh, I'm <laughs> sure he feels something similar to that. Yeah, it's over at this point. Nothing Molten's gonna do yeah. alone when he can. The board is yeah. contesting Molten already. I mean, this game was awesome. Shaman won. Yep. I, I, looking at some Shaman's two zero. Looking at some of those turns from the Shaman perspective, it's like how does Shaman actually yep. win this game? And it just grinds them out and takes. It's a fatigue twice in a row. This is gonna be an incredibly long series. And down goes another banana in two bites. <laughs> two bites. How this does, guy's a banana monster. How right? does he do it? Exactly. Just Have you boom. tried to eat a banana like that before? Nope. I take doesn't. my time, you know? No you homo. Mean. No homo. No homo. But I, I do take my time. <laughs> no homo, but Cap of Pride, is that okay? Uh, I, I suppose we're on <laughs> Twitch, right? <laughs> All right. So what does this, this, this guy have a mage left? What was banned? A mage. I, I think he's freeze mage, right? I would, just... uh, I would be inclined to say so, yes. Freeze mage is busted, so... Uh, Stan Sivka got his paladin banned. You got his Paladin ban? Yeah, you play Shaman, ban Paladin, win. I mean, you can be Paladin too, right? With, like, with Lion's Twins and stuff. Uh, it's still not good. Secret Paladin's a really good deck. Okay. All right, so what kind of mage will we see? Oh, huh? Emperor. That's not Freeze oh, Mage, right? It's Temple you don't, Mage? You don't play Mana Worm. Yeah. I never saw Stan Sivka playing Temple Mage. This so, is going to be Okay, and tonight is it's Temple Mage. That's what it is. Yeah. Since we saw Thoris, so it might be just like cycle heavy, or might be like spell slingers in there as well, and to get, to get your to get your hand size up for the might emperor. Might run spare parts potentially. Ooh, spare parts and emperor. Yeah, that's that's a synergy. Uh, so for Thor, for Antonidas, oh, uh, so you landed on seven. This is one of the things that uh, really good players like Stan Sivka do for tournaments. They just bring something that uh, nobody expects. Like everybody puts yeah. him on one hundred percent free and mage. then draws Meta Worm on one. Yeah? <laughs> it's a really good play. My toy is like, what? Uh, is that a, your Freeze Mage tech card? <laughs> uh, that makes sense because like we say that his lineup is very bad against Druid. A player like Stan Sivka would never let himself expose to Druid. Yep. I've, I've been told that Shaman is actually favored in this matchup. Like again, I have not played or practiced against Shaman very much in the last little while. But I've been told that, that um, Shaman is good in this matchup. I mean, Stan Sivka went with the Handlock before the Mage. So he is not comfortable with it. Like but Handlock is very bad against well, the he, Shaman, I right? Well, I think San Francisco, well, no. It's just like he's not, well, Shaman with Burst is terrible for Handlock, but Shaman with no Burst, that's winnable. Yeah, with BGH and... You guys would do this play? Um, you could go into Toaster yeah, yeah, and next turn do no, it. No, this is really Focus. good when you get when you get your Flame Tongue Totem next turn. <laughs> it, it sets up for the board player. <laughs> you just want to kill the Sorceress as I fast as possible. Happen, yeah. yeah, before shenanigans yeah, yeah. happen. You don't want your opponent to play three mana spares forever and destroy with Flame Tongue. Yeah, so uh, the Emperor builds tend to have Spell Slinger. Oh, Ooh, spell what, what is that? Spell oh, oh, that is not a playable. Uh, is it? Might be decent for Hex. Oh, for Hex? That's insane. You can just protect not your... Not like you um, have a, a lot of Hex targets, however, but... Well, if you protect your Amphinitis for one turn, you just win. Oh, I definitely, yeah. yeah. I think it gets oh, broke by the Hand of Protection, play. right? What? The Spell Slinger gets broke by the Hand of Protection. The he Hand of what? Procked. The one free is gonna get Divine Shield. Oh, with the Spell Slinger. By Spellbender, oh, by spell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how that works. I've never played that card. Yeah, uh, every does. time you target a minion with a spell, the one three gets a spell on it. So you get a Jack Dargent Squire. <laughs> Seems good. All right, so this he's gonna play Yeti though. Like, like I said, he has pair parts. Yeah, 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 he's going for the uh, Amphinitus Dream probably. Mm -hmm. And I've never, I never found that um, consistent enough. It, Replacing Shredders for spare parts and relying on Thorson into Antonitis, I think is way yeah, too yeah. far-fetched. Whereas you can just tempo them out with a usual build. This, uh... Shaman doesn't look like it's in a great spot, but it's not over yet, for it's sure. still fight back, yeah. Uh, there's like some... It, the trades on board are very awkward. He can kill the Spell Slinger very easily. I think Shaman is Storm in this matchup. I think he might trade into Worm and play uh, Shredder. Agree. Storm would be wonderful right now for uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the Shaman player, yeah. Uh, 
is Mana Worm dying? Is Spellslinger dying? What's going on here? I think Mana Worm dies. And you force the ping uh, the one to one, throw them off curve the if they one, were to have Azure Drake. The 1-1s one, one kind of help you, though. Like, yeah, I deal know that. Multiplying would be good. Getting more dudes on the board right now seems like a good idea. Oh, oh. it was not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so only one Purple spell is right. always wrong. Uh, yeah, so actually, like... Maybe, I'm not sure yeah. you want to do that, to be maybe, honest. Maybe Sansisco can just chill this turn spells. Just like hero power and play secret. And next turn he can play two se two spells with his spells. Like, yeah, or yeah, his yeah. Uh, Slave Maker. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Sounds better, to be honest. Yeah. Just leave the Shredder laying And just go phase for seven. Yep. I think Tempo Mage is an aggressive deck, and this seems like a decent play. And actually... Like, that, that, that came out of Spell Singer, so there's absolutely no knowledge as to what the heck that is. That could be anything. That is terrifying. Could be vaporized. Like that could be vaporized. That could, that could actually be anything right now. Um, so like okay. he's he, he probably wants to play like a three six here. But yeah, he, okay, yeah, exactly. You, but if he does play the bubble, oh my god. Yeah, you're just oh no, he's oh. gonna he's gonna play around like the one in six mirror entity. Oh, oh. And it's it, gonna happen. Oh no. You feel so bad, man. I guess he's... No. Oh, no. No, Toity, don't do it. The Spell Slinger. It's a trap. Oh, no. The value. <laughs> the value. <laughs> he's cracking up. <laughs> Sifka's like, yeah, man. I have never... <laughs> That's I, right. <laughs> I have never seen this come up before, let alone at a tournament in competitive play. This is good. Esports, man. Yeah. This is Anything can happen. Taunt Totem's a good one, because Shaman does not have a lot of health now. Uh... uh why is the Yeti not? Oh, uh, I guess going to Yeti might... Uh, uh, there's no real life. And okay, now, so now he, he pops it. I think he's getting, getting desperate. He's just like, ah, let's get as much power in the board as possible. Yeah, that taunt is good, though. Now it's time for Flame Waker. Yeah, and oh my god. Yeah, the fact he traded the Creeper too. enables Flame Waker even more. It was already good, I think. Yeah, it was... Unstable portal into the, the third Flame Waker would be really cool here. <laughs> that seems like the play to me. <laughs> Very viable line. Yeah. How oh, is that? It's okay. That's uh, pretty bad. It's free. It's definitely zero mana. And before three one survives. Uh, Flame Waker has not done a good job so far. Nice. Oh, the 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 three one survives. That's actually. Yep. Important. Question mark. I think if you want if he hadn't traded the spellbender into the town totem, he would have had one more. Minion potentially because he hit the face with one of the uh, missiles. Yeah, it's really hard to count the statistics on the best way of doing those things like that. If, if you, you leave the if you leave the taunt totem there, but then you have to hit it twice. You have to hit the taunt totem twice. Yeah, but there's another target on board rather than yeah. it's dying quicker. He keeps the spell oh, keeper oh. For value. Oh boy, do we have a game here? Can it be a comeback? It's hard. Does he need spell damage? He, it all starts with spell power. Oh no. I he think he doesn't need anything. Tree. No, he just needs to roll three on every worker. on everything but the Yeti. And, oh. Uh, no. Oh, oh, no, no, plus one attack. Plus exactly, one attack exactly. off the Yeti. <laughs> this is so easy. Come on. Easiest game of his life. One and seven. Spare part RG. He doesn't go. get the coin flip, but he gets a one and seven. I want to see that. I'm sorry. He, oh, he's praying to our <laughs> Jesus. He's praying to our Jesus. And he knows he's very in very bad shape if he has to play Druid against he, he knows he's very dead. It, it, most of the series actually very much comes down to this. Yep. One in seven. Ah, Druid can win. Druid's good. And... Does he do it? Does he do it? And... Oh, oh my god! He hits it! He hits it! Oh my god! Does Doesn't it get coin flips, but gets a one in seven. Yeah. That's amazing. Does it matter though? Like Statsuka has to reload his. Oh wow. The re the, like he's oh. shaman is not out of the woods at all. What can the shaman get? He needs the heal. For yep. fourteen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that can actually make him come back in the game. Oh, uh, that reverse. No, he's uh, pretty decent. That I think that's his only out though for next turn immediately. Uh. Oh, no. There's a torrent of... There was hope, and then threats. hope was gone. Yeah. Can't even play Boom. Vitality Totem? <laughs> you gotta keep RNGing your way to it. That seems like a viable game plan. 
but uh, I don't see him in a really good shape. Oh. Uh -huh. At this moment, you probably already think of the last game. You're like, okay, I have to play my Druid versus this Tempo Mage. There have not been very good results of that Tuskar Toast Hammock. Uh, yeah, it's a bad card. Series. It got one flame tank. That was Yeah, it did get a flame tank. Okay, that makes up for all of it. <laughs> and uh, the series tied 2-2. Two to two. What do you think uh, now? Like, is it normal Druid? Is it better no, if it's it not is, normal Druid or is, if it's normal Druid? It's not normal Druid. <laughs> it might be Aggro Druid. Ramp Druid? Aggro Druid? Be can be Druid's anything. Druid. Fell Reaver Druid, I think, is good against Tempo Mage. You just turn one Fell Reaver every time. <laughs> every time, sure. Yeah. Nice sample size. Yeah. <laughs> I've only played one game. <laughs> but uh, Ramp Druid, like five tens can outlast Tempo Mage. Actually, uh, Toide was known for Ram Druid back in the day. Yep. I'm not sure if he still sticks to it. There, yep. there, there you go. As, uh, it was in all his decks after all. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. This is going to be fun. All right, Wild Grove and Wrath. This deck destroys Tempo Mage, right? No. No? No. It's still Ram Druid, man, you taunt and then what? And then Fireball Face. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think this is... That's like a lot of taunt, though. So he runs probably four spare part givers. Two, no, probably just three one drops. So one clockwork, no, two mana worms, and okay, two yetis. Yeah, yeah. Might be possible as well. You rarely run four one drops. That's just, you get diminishing returns after a while. Mm -hmm. So do you want to coin up hero power? You don't get to coin five after the exactly. wild draft, but is that too slow? I like this coin you, hero power. You might bank on drawing a four within the next two uh, I, draws. The way he might be hoping to do is like wrapping something next turn. If it's scientist, he wagros, and then he draws uh, innervate, yeah, and then well. plays a five. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's, apprentice is going to be really good then. It, this is definitely a, a rough matchup, and like a rough matchup. A, a rough match. It's a rough matchup. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rough matchup. All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's looking like a good innervate turn next turn for Druid. Stasifka, it's one of those many fives. Stasifka really needs the spell slinger. Yeah. Or. I think Flame Waker's fine. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. Yep. That's, is it? Yeah, yeah, you just play it. I, you, your opponent's on three mana. How does he kill it? Mulch. Innervate Rid of the Claw. Uh, I mean, you're not in a better spot by doing nothing this turn if you... Can yeah, charge yeah. into it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, next turn, it's either going to be a low fab or it's going to be a charge. Oh, wow, two Yetis. Yetis are I good like against Druid. I like probably more. Yetis are really good against Druid. Because as soon as he flame cannons... Master Jouster. This is Taunt City Druid. <laughs> Toy they really likes the Joust card. <laughs> I do think I would have liked both out here more, though. Because both Frostbolt and Flame Cannon can just contest the Druid, uh, the druid Claw, and you have no answer to Yeti. Yeah, so... Yeah, playing the second Yeti is just stupid. It just dies to swipe. Unless you hit missiles for us? No, it's like, what? What's the spare part? No, it's a missile. Okay. Spare part is a reversing switch. Mm -hmm. You don't really want to use it like that. Yeah, this is fine. Is this game going to be decided by a joust? <laughs> yes, absolutely it is. That's why the players love the mechanic. This is why you play KT in your deck. I want to see this happen. Like a 5-6 bubble is amazing it's right now. It's by far the best play to play a 5-6 with Divine Shield here. Yeah. It dies to Hero Power Fireball though, so it's like not even good. That's the whole turn, but yeah, you still hit you if you're seven and down. Lothab looks better, though. <laughs> I would have liked Lothab last turn better, that's what I'm saying. And why is that? Because you would, no spell would have come up, and the Druid of the Claw dealt, got dealt with, with a spell eas easily, right? Whereas you could have Lothab traded into Yeti and then charged the next turn to kill the Flame Worker. Mm -hmm. So right now he has two Yetis you can't deal with. This is looking bad for Druid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's still got the heal, but long way. That's Ragnaros. Is there any way you play Boom now? Yes, to stabilize? absolutely. <laughs> and heal a Yeti, right? Yeah. So you're not dead to Fireball? Um, does it matter? Like, you cannot really play around it, can you? You can't with taunts, right? Four plus you have lore heal, maybe. I mean, yeah. but if you play the taunt, you're still no. theoretically dead to fireball because your opponent clears the board and instantly wins afterwards. How does he clear the board? Well, you fireball with the a fireball. Yeah, oh, you fireball right. the taunt, ping the fire yeah. one. 
So you, you still lose the game if you play the Towns. Yeah, you might as well just... You just go for the best play, considering he doesn't have Fireball. This is the best play against Fireball, actually, because if it's his Kiss Divine Shield, you have to ping the shield. Oh! That is a, that is a big <laughs> joust. And it's because of the second Cloak Regnum, diminishing returns. Yeah, absolutely. And he can stop the ping and the Lotha. Oh. Uh, or stops the Fireball as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I think like he's, this. he's convinced there's a Fireball at this point, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get the top back. Oh, it's oh, it's oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's not nearly. As Neither good. top nor divine. Shield. I like Dragon Yeah, well, nah. You just hit the Yeti. The, or, the, or the mana worm. Both are fine. Yeah. Yeah. You could also Belcher and hit the one one. Swipe. If, is... if you hit the one one. Yeah, swipe's not good. If you hit the one one, you're still forcing hero power. If you hero power is not playing either his boom or Antonidas, which is also good. Is he dead to just fireball here if he like just plays like Doctor Boom? Oh, he wants to Belcher? That sounds that weird. Is a, that is Actually, Belcher sets up Swipe. Yeah, Belcher of. sets up Swipe very nicely. Gets the hero power of the 1-1. One, one. Mm. Not the worst. And definitely not dead to Fireball. I think Belcher is the best. As soon he, as you stabilize, you lure and win the game. Like, he is convinced there is a Fireball at this point. He's just like, how do I beat Fireball right now? Mm -hmm. And so far, he's been doing a good job playing around the Fireball that's not currently in the hand of But he still Tempo needs Mesh. to do it, though. At any point, it can just be drawn. Yeah, absolutely. And, oh, wow, that's... That's got to be good That's right interesting, here. Yeah. It's not an easy turn, is it? The reversing switch that deals two damage to either minion, so it's it doesn't really turn. matter where you put it in a way. You just start pointing things. You put it on Belcher, so you don't need to ping with your hero power. You're, no, no, you don't need to ping anyways. You're just going to play all the spells. The Divine Shield gets knocked off by Flame Waker. Yeah, what I'm saying is you, you start off with a reversing switch, so you can actually ping the, the bubble first. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, this Mana Worm is... Oh, wow, that's dirty. Uh, uh Frostbolt face? face? No, 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 he's gonna. Is he gonna trade in the Yeti? Is there a lethal here, actually? No, he can't play Spare Port. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's nine. That hurts. Ooh. So what is, like, the best draw? Swipe? <laughs> Second swipe? Does that work? That it works. Would not. He can swipe Keeper of the Grove with Magic Equivalent. Yep. Wow. Uh, Staying yeah, alive. Yeah, he didn't go lower and win the game. Not really. You still played a fireball after war. <laughs> yeah, the next card's fireball. <laughs> like, almost every time. Almost Such every time. Right? There, oh, there might be a tracking and then a fireball, but there's going to be a fireball <laughs> next turn one way or another. Is that the only way of staying alive here? I think it is, right? Let's see if he spots it. It's actually a kind of tricky turn. Looks like he sees it. Yep. Spare part RNG. Siding Hearthstone matches. Standard stuff. He does have that stealth though. He can stealth up as 2 2 and win the turn after. They both go for the chill. <laughs> and. Oh. Oh. That's, That's a good draw. That's. A good draw. Interesting. Yeah. Ping face? Ping the keeper because it's going to hit him to 2 2. No, you pink face and stealth the 2 2. No, you can stealth the 4 4 actually, obviously. But. Do you go for Ragnaros? I like Ragnaros. But if, if he sells the 4 4, you, you have, have to rag. You yeah. know what would be really good right now? Reno Jackson. Tree, tree of life. <laughs> Depends on his deck, though. And he might have a duplicate of something still. He seems to be running a lot of one What if he runs Tree of Life in the Keltusa deck? It's actually possible in the Ram Druid. Absolutely, I wouldn't put it past him. I want to see a top deck. If he top decks Tree of, of Life, 
Oh, he's playing around the rag. So there's oh. going to be seven next... Oh, he so needs lore, to life. lore is not good enough. Oh, he's still to the 2-2. Two, two, so, so close. You don't really trade into Azure Drake that easily. And that's game up. Yeah. I guess lore draw into like healing touch. Up to nine, and your opponent you has seven. Yield to seven, then you lose. Yeah, nine. On board. Healing, healing touch. No, is we eight. just lure this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lure's not good enough here. Uh, looks like that's a honest. Poor and that's very unfortunate. He for Toy Day. Druid fought so hard and so hard. Yeah, it was two three, but he had a he had a he has obviously a really curious lineup, a very interesting techie, yeah. etc. And the fact is, he didn't win his first match, and yeah. his next opponent already knows what he's playing in all of his decks. Tempo Mage is busted, though. <laughs> Versus Druid, obviously. He's trying to figure it out, and the puzzle isn't existing. And then Siska is going to take it 3-2. to two. Yeah, and Stasika will play Surrender I now, I think. Is that the next? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Stasika is a surrender. And, and afterwards it's Ori versus Toy Day. And then... The oh, this is, a, this is actually a really good group. Yeah. This is going to be a, a fun group to cast. Yeah. Like, or, like Orange is... Orange against... The Toy Day. Eight. Against the Shaman yeah. and the yeah, yeah, yeah. Ram Druid. And... Surrender is sick and since this is so good, that's going to be an amazing match. Yeah, he's the next game. On the, the winners. Wow, that is actually going to be an incredible match. Yo, Hi, get in here, San Francisco. Uh... So, how was getting mean by Shaman? <laughs> like, I felt my mage's gonna be good against all his lineups, so I just want to discover as much as possible with the other yeah. decks, but I kind of feel that he has no counter to my mage, so... Yeah, the, the mage, is, oh, mage is pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like, I, the only problem could be if he has a zoo as a warlock, but otherwise, like, he had no answer to this deck, so I felt pretty comfy all the series. Despite I was like one two down. So your plan was to get information and then three zero on tempo mage or two at least get two wins on tempo mage yeah, like, kind of thing. Yeah, like basically, obviously, like I would like to win, like for example with warlock and shaman. Yeah, yeah just three zero on your first class. Yeah, that's, but, that's usually what you want to do. Yeah, like I was pretty happy that I won the first game. It was kind of close, and yeah, yeah. otherwise, like, like I probably could play somehow differently with warlock, but yeah, it was like. You know, the Oracle was uh, well, so well, crucial, like, when he drew two cards, it was, yeah, it that was that like was, a blowout from my I, point I of view. I would have been very upset, personally. You took it well. You took it like a professional. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm kind of used to, you know, but... How did how did you react to the... Um, oh, to the Dreadsteed. When yeah. you saw Dreadsteed, were you like, whoa? Like, I've played with this deck several times, so... <laughs> You're just like, oh, this Yeah, like, this I kind of expect to be, like, this deck... To be honest, from Toyota because he always plays some garbage decks. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't you were surprised at all. Red to be there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good uh, on you. Yeah. Or do you get so, The last deck was Ram Druid. He could have drawn. Um, how was it called? Tree of Life. Yeah, Tree, Tree of Life. Of life. <laughs> I think he plays. <laughs> we could play that. We were oh, really you hoping you were going to be fun. Arena. Nah, Reno. He had, he had, had Kill Tuzad. Kill Tuzad in the head. Ragnaros and all that are good yeah, stuff. Yeah, he had all the good stuff all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely going to outvalue in the long run. Yeah, like it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. tough to outvalue Toyota because he has all the extended minion in the world. <laughs> yeah, all the, the flame time. You, the second flame worker you got. That was a dirty draw. Yeah, like like if he wouldn't win the clash or. What the joust? Joust, yeah. Oh, you don't, you don't but, even but know Two mana is enough it. against me, so no problem. <laughs> yeah, okay, but I'm pretty happy that I'm through and like, I'm looking forward to yeah, play. It was very fun to watch, that Surrender. Are you going to be gonna beat so. Surrender? I don't know. Like, he has good lineup, so it's going to be close, I assume. But right, I, I think they're going to be good matches. Okay, us. so thank you guys. I need to... Any shout-outs? Any shout-outs that you want to make? Any shout-outs? Um, I don't know. I can show him. Maybe later on. I, okay. I'm, just, I'm just to focus at the moment. So. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Good luck okay. in your next okay, match against you. Surrender. Congratulations. It was nice to see you guys. Okay, see ya. Right. So, uh, we're I guess we go break, to, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we're going to have Surrender against Sensus coming up next, I think. So, I don't know how long the break is going to be, but probably the usual. You guys should be used to it, right? Yeah. So, uh, so I think it's time for us to go back to the bar and. Down <laughs> uh, some more beers. And there's going to be more Hearthstone coming up in like three minutes. Surrender probably. versus Stan Sivka. That is the game to watch. Hype. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be a great match. So stay tuned and uh, see you in a bit.